which is more full of people that are full of themselves? World of property law or the world of music? Oh my god, I actually worked for property, property law. I, I, I know, that's why I asked you. Oh my god! This video is brought to you by Tile. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local and not so local music and the people that make it, including my guest. And my guest today is the singer for a hard rock band based in the UK, United Kingdom, and they are, quote, dedicated to creating dirty hard rock music with classic and modern cla uh, rock overtones mixed with southern infused blues. So they're kind of just painting with a wide brush. They've been rocking for almost 10 years together, and their new single, Replace the Pain, is out now. Please welcome to the channel, Her Ladyship, a.k.a. the Circus Princess, Annabelle from Circus 66. Hey, Annabelle. Hey, guys! I mean, uh, I, I, I've uh, left my crown in the background. I'll get, it. I'll get it for another day. I do have a crown. I actually have five, to, to be precise. Five. Five crowns. And crown Cowan. is yours. I want another one for my birthday. I already said that to my friends. I was like, I want another crown. Because you can never have you can never have too many crowns, and people always borrow them, but no one can rock out like I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> hi. We are modest. Mm. So, <laughs> just a tad. Right off the bat, for if you don't know who Circus Sixty Six is, thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and, and introduce yourselves. Uh, uh, well, I mean, we know you're the singer. I said that, but if you can tell us a little bit about who we're missing, and also. Why Circus 66? Where did that name come from? Oh, God. Oh, oh, the other three are missing. The other three are missing because they're asleep and they're not dedicated. All right? I was the only one. Ooh, shots fired. 3, 3 30 in the morning. All right? 3 30 in the morning. And I'm here like a patron I am. Now I'm kidding. They've got children. So, like, you know, they're already sleep deprived. I, I'm, I'm still I'm still running around. So it's all good. I, I, no, I, 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 think, they're, I think they're just bums. Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, well, don't tell them I said that or I agreed. Um, I, I'm only joking. No, the, 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 it's it, it, we did agree. I did say it's fine. I'll do it. You know, just because you know somebody got to Somebody's got to carry the band. <laughs> I'm joking. I love you guys really. Um, but yeah, so we're Circus Sixty Six. Um, you already met me. I'm Annabelle, the loud one. Sometimes I don't even need the microphone. I'm loud enough as it is. So I'm been I've been told many 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 times. Um, the guitarist uh, is called Matt, aka Porn Wizard. There's a reason for that. Um, he uh, when he plays guitar, he loves to play on the wah wah pedal. So you know, creates a bit of a '70s porn music sometimes, just in the background for funsies. And uh, we you know we laugh at it and we we just call them Porn Wizard. That wow. was his nickname. Bow, bow. Um, Literally, li like li constantly in the background, just you know, we're having a sound check. That's what that's what comes out. Um, so we've got bassist Luke, aka Mustard. We literally forget his actual government name. His name's Luke, but all we say is Mustard. He's even saved in my phone, Mustard. Lyle Mustard, his name is. His it's his stage name. It's his alter ego. And, you know, that's that that's that he's the bassist of the band. You know, we sometimes have to remind him that he's in the band. <laughs> he's like, oh, God, we got rehearsal. Yes, we do. It's today. It's at seven. Come on, mate. Um, but no, we love him, really. Also, he, he provides quite a, quite a bit of, a, you know, a bit of a bassy, bassy lines. So um, and uh, last but not least, we've got Lee, a.k.a. Uh, Andre Shagassi, because uh, he grew his hair out. <laughs> and, and, and it's a it's a play on words, um, Andre Agassi, but we call him Shagassi instead because he's ginger and we like to take the piss out of him. Bless him. But uh, he brings he brings the drum noise, and uh, that's that's the three that I'm currently missing. In bed, asleep, the lazy bums. <laughs> I'm joking. They're not lazy. Like um, you know, it is it is what it is. I had to you know. Somebody got to represent. But anyway, uh, Circus 66 name uh, actually was, um, so it was actually introduced back in 2012, 2013. Um, it was a three-piece band at the start. It was all boys, all men, 
men, boys, I don't know. They're quite young back then. Uh, we're, we all were once. Um, and uh, it started off uh, as a project that Matt and his uh, buddy from the uh, from uni uh, started off. Um, it was called something else. I, I, for the life of me, like, I cannot remember. I have it in my notes somewhere, but I, if you ask me now, I couldn't recall it for the life. Um, but um, it had circus in it before, previously. So it, was, it had uh, one of the words. But because the name was so long, they decided to change it up. And the bassist at the time um, suggested to play on uh, words and say, Circus 69, why don't we just call it that? But then Matt decided to and said, actually, 66 is better. 66 is like Route 66, as we've got southern southern undertones of to the music. So we thought, they thought at the time, we, they, they thought that would be quite cool to add it. So it gives a little bit more of a character to not just the name of the band, but also what we do as, what, what they did as musicians. Um, so um, in 2016, that's when I joined, and then uh, the uh, the new basis in the drama that we've had, uh, we've we've got now, uh, they joined in 2019. So uh, we've now have a very good, solid, solid team. No one's leaving. It will it, if it's a sinking ship, you sink with the ship, like the captain would. Like it's happening. So, but we're not sinking yet. We're actually rising quite well with the tide. So, <laughs> so far. Awesome. And no, that totally answered any question I could possibly have about who's missing and what's uh, the why the name of the band. And I, I think 66 <laughs> works better. It's more of an alliterative thing. But um, and, and 69 is a little bit low hanging it's, fruit, you know. Yeah. And, you know, so, so some content that, that, you know, you can either take it or leave it. And it's so it's I think it's over, it would have been overused and overplayed on. Um, so 60, uh, I mean, 66 was quite, it was a good choice. And I mean, it stuck around, it's short and it's straight to the point and it literally, uh, it's like no other. So, you know, it, right. I mean, it works. We carry it pretty well. Yeah, do. no, it totally works. And, um, I, you're crowdfunding a new album, right? Yes. Yes, we are indeed. Uh, does, second does album. Does it have a name? I couldn't, it, it, that, that's not. Oh, it is Elements because yeah, it's called Elements. Yeah, the, it doesn't say the name of the album when you go to the crowdfunding page. Oh my god, I gotta I, have a I didn't see I gotta it. have a word with mustard because what the hell? Are you joking? You're I may be wrong, but I was. <laughs> we'll, I thought we'll Elements we'll had already come out. Have a go at him because otherwise right. you'll be like, oh god, really? You, you well, moaning again? Yes, yes, I am. Yes, yes. Yes, um, I am. <laughs> let's see but, here. Yeah. I'm checking your website right now as we speak. Well, that's, that, I mean, that's fine. You can tell me. So, you know, it will be, do you know what? It will be the witness, the witnessing, because at least if it is wrong, I'd be like, well, we've discovered this live in an interview, you mongrel. Right. Sort it out. Well, right. <laughs> Hi, back. What's the deal with the wolf inside the six on top of your logo? Ah, so we had, obviously, we had a change of, um, uh, the line change bit in between. Obviously, change of the guard. The, ch change of li uh, lineup in general. So, you know, uh, the most, obviously, recent ones, um, the, so the guys that came, uh, came in and joined and we became what we are, kind of solidified us as a team. Um, one of the things we all, we all go through quite a lot. Each each individual of us, we all go go through something or have gone through something in um, in life, which was quite you know, it could rattle uh, you know could rattle anyone. So, a wolf is a symbol of uh, strength and perseverance. So we um, we as a collective thought it would it would be a good way to reflect us as a uh, um, as, as musicians who are uh, that you know we're persistent following our goal um, we also want to reflect this in our in the artwork and um, our logo because it represents strength so wolf is a you know is one of those animals that it you know it travels in a pack it will you know divide you know divide and conquer kill and protect so we sort of um, we like what it represents. Um, and we want to spread that uh, that thought, the strength behind that symbol that we uh, we we've, we've put it into our logo, um, you know, just to give it that little, little bit extra something. 
So that's, wow. th- that's the reason. I, 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 can't, I can't believe I remembered this. Oh, my God. I'm honestly amazed there was that much backstory to it. I thought you were just going to say, oh, we just thought it was cool. <laughs> or something. Uh, do you know what? Uh, do you know what? I'm pretty sure one of the other ones would have said that. Yeah. I'm like, but we did discuss it, and it was like a discussion that we had. Like, so um, the suggestion actually came from, if I'm not wrong, from Lee, the drummer, uh, aka Andre Shagasi. <laughs> I will throw, I'll, I will throw the nicknames in. Um, so, and, and it was a really, it, re, it was a really cool thing to uh, to add. Um, I think the changeover to the wolf being added to the actual logo was done uh, when we were doing our first album. And uh, that was that was solidified for us because it was it was also going we were going through COVID and everything as well. So it was you know it's a, a trying times for everyone. So we as we as a band we thought you know what we're you know we just finished recording our first album it was our our debut. So you know we came out we came out um, of the co- whole COVID thing and everything and you know like a lot of people did. But um, we know quite a few bands that didn't make it through COVID because obviously, you know, broke up, did difference in creativity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So quite a few bands didn't actually get through that hell of a time. So, you know, for us, it was like, well, we got through it. You know, that means, you know, this shit is real. (laughs) This is real. (laughs) Even though we hate each other, sometimes we love each other really. So it was it was something to you know uh, to, to be proud of, and uh, we thought we'd add it to the logo for that extra oomph. If you want to have fun like Annabelle and be featured on my channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down below, or click the Room Six social media link. That's where you'll find what else I'm up to online, ways you can support the channel should you so choose, and uh, what the heck, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. All those YouTube things, I appreciate and love you all. Uh, incidentally, if you're at all interested in what is going on on a weekly basis in Las Vegas for live music, I have a podcast over on Twitch, and I also post the re- recorded versions on um, the, the channel called Room 6 Radio. And that is basically channels or uh, shows that have come up to, on my radar, and I say, hey, here's you know this venue, this date, here's who's playing, boom. And um, it's, it's a quick thing. It's like 15 minutes usually, but... It's, I don't know, Annabelle will tell you, like, a lot of local bands are terrible at promoting themselves. That's why the channel exists. And I th- I was thinking about, I was like, you know, it's all well and good for me to do, like, reviews of live shows and live streams, but it, it doesn't tell people what's coming up in a concise mm. thing. So that's what I do now. And, and when shows come up on my radar that are anywhere around Las Vegas, I make sure that I'm, uh, you know, uh, uh, putting it out every Sunday, noon, uh, Pacific Daylight Time, or some standard, depending. And basically, it's uh, you can go to Twitch or here on the channel, and uh, you know it's at Room Six LV, which is this plus LV for Las Vegas. Spiel done. Um, I'm, I wanted to ask you more qu- personal question, if you don't mind. Go on. I, I'm an open book. Go for I it. I know. I, I know how shy you are. So. Uh, <laughs> um, said no one ever to me. Right. This is a, a, a question I ask of all my prey usually. It's a, it's a usual interview question I do, and it, it's surprising. I've never gotten the same answer twice, generally. But um, I want to talk about earliest musical influence. And what I mean is, do you have a specific memory when you said, I want to do that? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, let me think Thank about you. it. Well, so earliest influences, I mean... I'm a, to be fair, I'm a very sort of uh, diverse person to be when it fair. comes to music. I mean, Queen would, uh, Queen would be one for sure. Cause um, I, I, again, grow, uh, obviously I'm, I'm originally, so I'm half Russian, half Ukrainian. That We're not going into that. <laughs> we're not talking political, but, um, but I was growing up uh, in Russia. I was really, really young, but um, my, so we we had like cassettes and stuff, blah, blah, blah. but um, Queen was one of the one of the cassettes that we had, and I really like that. That was one of the, my first uh, first earliest influences um, as a, uh, a as a rock singer. But generally, I I love I, I love listening to all kinds of music. For me, music in general can be very um, inspiring, uh, regardless of uh, what genre it is. I find that every 
every single genre has its own niche and can give you an inspiration to be a better singer or a better musician um, when it comes to when you write your own stuff. So uh, for me as a singer, I I take I take notes from like Christina Aguilera, Beyonce, like all these like Dolly Parton, because why not? We love a bit of Dolly. Like I love a bit of Dolly. Um, She's amazing. You know, Right, you know, she she, she is, plays like she nine instruments. I love she her. does like a two and a half hour straight show. She plays like nine instruments. Right, right, and 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 you know the best part? Like, I love her acrylic nails when she sits down. <laughs> I'm like, girl, I do this. Like, this is great. Like, cause she's rhythmically just and I'm like, yes, thank you, yes. thank you, Queen. But never yes, mind, like, never mind the Christmas whole trailblazing for women thing, you know. Oh God, yeah. Oh, she's she's. You so see, cool. kids, there used to be these things called cassette tapes. Thank you. I still got them. And if you know, you know uh, uh, the relationship between these two things. <laughs> oh my god, you're old. <laughs> you I are remember a... that. My god, the time for your boy. medicine. Oh we the, the kids, kids these days don't know what kind of hardship we had to endure. God damn, millennials Especially don't know nothing tape, about when the tape got screwed up. That you got, you can't. Because if we, if you're gonna yep. go try and replace it, good, good luck finding it. it might be sold right. out. Do you know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta treasure that thing. Like, but they were they were made like mm -hmm. like out of steel, I swear, these things, cassettes. Throw them about and they're still working. All I, you gotta do is just wind it right but right back up and you're good. I miss cassette singles because sometimes you don't want the whole album. Yeah. You know, that B side, the B side was was huge. But anyway, we I digress. Uh, um, <laughs> we're enough on one. I, I, but, I think I think I think we got your answer though to that question, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's my oh, the, the for rock side of things. Queen was my earliest influence, and I uh, stuck with me till this day. Freddie Mercury. Um, obviously, as a as a kid, I, you know, I I now think back what captured me most, and of course, you know, they showed uh, you know the Live Aid and everything, so we got we got to watch it and stuff. And when uh, you know, back then for me, I was just like, oh wow, how cool is this, you know? But I I look back now and I think, wow, what a performance. Mm? And I just like take notes, take notes, take notes. It's like it's like a lecture for me watching Live Aid and what Freddie did and stuff. It's great. Like he he was a he was a you know he's like the yep. showman of all showmen for me. So yeah, I I, I find it uh, and his influence when it came to rock and music itself is fantastic. But again, I I, I go off I go off on one so I shout them. Queen, Queen was a big influence for me, too. Um, but my earliest musical influence was sitting in the back of the car, listening to the same tapes over and over. Oh. And and I grew up actually on country and Western, <laughs> on both oh. kinds of music, <laughs> but uh, uh, for you Blues Brothers fans. But yeah, no, like Crystal Gale, Kenny Rogers, and, and just where when you hear oh, it over and over. Kenny Rogers, just, yeah. I mean, and I'm talking not like some Kenny Rogers that you don't know, like some psychedelic crap. Anyway. Oh, but again, okay. Right, right, right. We're going back, back. <laughs> I, I, check out. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. It's. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. You're like, this yes, is Kenny absolutely. Rogers. But anywho. <laughs> um, switching, switching topics here a little bit. A reviewer once compared you to a heroine in a Jane Austen novel. What would be your ideal superpower? If you could be a, a, a heroine. Oh, that's Which, a, by the way, that's as a good a, question, it's like my, my my cogs are turning. I'm like, okay, right. Uh, but, uh, wow, by the way, uh, I, I forgot I forgot his name. I meant to meant make a note of it. But who that reviewer? What a great compare! What a great review to say. Like, I you know, remember this as well. Great. I was yeah. like, oh wow. And, and the way he phrased it. Hair, when I have it down, <laughs> I just whoosh it about. So it's like you know. And when if we if and when we have a fan, I'm like, oh, I have a fan. Like. That joke, that joke gets so old, but I don't give a shit. Like, oh, I've got a fan! I'm number one fan right so, now. But, right. Yeah, what, what would be your ideal superpower? For me, it would oh, be God. teleportation. Oh, how how convenient would that be? I would never need gas money or, like, petrol, well, gas. You know, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it, from, like... from the logical right brain side of things, a lot of superpowers you don't want. Like, flight? I mean, oh, unless no. you're also invulnerable... Do you know what fly? I I, I think fly is a bit of a shit superpower. Reason being yeah. is right. So you fly, 
So imagine you're flying somewhere. You got to fly fast, right? Well, and you got to fly a certain speed birds, to stay up. They're, they're going to fly into you and be like, what the fuck are you doing? 300, uh, 300 feet in the air. It's like, go away. This is my turf uh, for one. And then you got all these bugs flying around in the summer. That that means th this shit's gonna go in your eyes, your teeth, your nose. Like you're gonna be spitting up bugs for like a week after one flight. You know, there's so many, so many things that could go wrong. So flight is a massive no-no for me. I'm not afraid you know, of heights, but it's just inconvenient. I it's would like to retract much. my answer. I, I I take back what I said. I went with teleportation because I heard someone else say it, and I thought, oh, that, that that's smart. Um, mm -hmm. but there's an X man. And I can't remember the character's name right now, but his mutant power is literally to have whatever power he needs to deal with whatever's going on. He's bombarded by radiation. Boom. He's immune to it. He, you know, suddenly needs, you know, super strength. He's got it. And that's, that's being able to just like, he, he I wouldn't be wearing glasses. <laughs> no. Nah, nah. Well, I would be, I don't know. I just, oh, what superpower would I want? I mean, technically, I have a superpower. I've got very loud mouth and loud voice, so I'm technically like cana like Black Canary, if we're looking into that. Like I, I was will, gonna like, say. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if we're going there, like you know, I went there. No, I, I don't know. I, it's difficult to decide because you know the, it all depends. I mean, would I use the superpower for good or evil? It's a good question, right? <laughs> What would I, that, what that's would I on do you. That? That's on you. I, I'd be evil. I'd, 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 you know, people say heroin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met me, have you? No, no but seriously, like, if you, I, I personally, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely have some, have some fun with it. I mean, oh god, I've really got to think about that. I feel like you know, I'm, I'm choosing right now. Like, you know, when you're like at birth, like, and before you right. are born with the superpower, you get to, you know, one choice and that's it, and you're fucked otherwise. Tell you what, I tell you what. While you think about that, we're gonna take a, <laughs> we're gonna take a quick little break here. I, I, I'm empty, so booze break. But also, yeah. I got a me got a message from future Josh. So, uh, booze break. And now a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. It's a sad fact for musicians on the road or just playing at their local bar that gear gets stolen sometimes because people. Fortunately, there's a way to help get it back. With Tile, you have a backup plan when something needs to be found. Just tap Find in the Tile app. Watch the Tile detector's green rings fill in as you get closer to them. Tile also has lost and found stickers with a QR code full of your contact info. That can be scanned by whoever finds it. If you lose something when you're out and about, Tile can help you locate it, view its most recent location on a map, and it'll show you the last time it was with you or the last time your Tile app was able to locate it. You can also tap Notify when found so the Tile network, which is every phone running the Tile app and their network extenders, can help locate the lost item. Each device on the network is able to help locate Tile trackers and send location updates to your Tile app, anonymously of course. And with Premium Protect Plan, Tile will even reimburse you if something can't be found. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time only, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get peace of mind and save some cash. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Tile for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back! And for those, for those of you just joining us, what are you doing jumping in the middle of a video? We're with Annabelle from Circus 66, all the way from the UK. And I asked her before the break, Oh, by the way, if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down below. You'll save some money. I'll get some money. Win-win, baby. Uh, and he'll help me help the local scene and make better videos as well. So, thanks. Mm. Spiel over. Mm, Annabelle is going to answer the question, what superpower would you like to have? And, and, and taking in all the factors... You know, like like flight, your skin will strip off, or or if you're involved, if you're like super strong, then you're gonna weigh it weigh a ton. I just knocked my headphone out. No. <laughs> there you are. Uh, I'd 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 choose to be omnipotent. Like no one can tell me no. I'd be the queen of the world. Like in the well, back, running in the background. I would not. To be fair, her ladyship. I <laughs> Yeah, I would honestly, I would not be, I, I wouldn't <laughs> run the world though. Like, that's a big task. Like, it's a shit show and I don't want to be responsible for it, not gonna lie. Like, let, let's call it what it is. So, I just, I just, you know, help in the background, maybe do some pranks on people, which is great. 
Because why not? I want to be omnipotent so I can prank my band. <laughs> oh God, yes! Oh my God, yes! I would literally, I'd, um, I already do that anyway with uh, confetti cannons, which they hate, but our uh, our fans love it. Like we had a couple of gigs, they're still complaining about this. I kid you not. There's complaints. The bassist and uh, and the guitarist and Matt uh, Mustard and Matt constantly remind me how much of a nuisance it is that I I introduce confetti cannons into our shows. And I was like, screw you, this is fun. People love it. And I mean, I'm talking big confetti cannons, like huge, huge, massive bat sized thing that just shoots out 20 meters of just confetti. And but the issue is for them is that confetti is very it's like it's like a freaking rash. It just it spreads everywhere. Yeah, it's like glitter. And they find it in their in their um pedal boards. So like and I'm like, ah. and I said to them, guys. It's like a piece in a piece of Annabelle went home with you. They're like, we we get to fucking hear you every day. We don't need this. And I'm like, well, fans do, so fuck Rude. Off. So it's like so, so omnipotent Annabelle would take turns turning each of them into a confetti cannon. Oh my god, yes. And then do you know what? And they'll get upset. Like if they get upset, they explode and have to pick the back up. Like, oh babe, it's okay. <laughs> oh All right. you exploded again. Oh. So from from there, from there, <laughs> from there, uh, wanted to ask: uh, any plans to leave the UK? Any plans to go on tour to other countries, maybe the, the states? Oh, oh, we, we would love to. The, my, well, obviously, we. I would definitely say yes. I'd love to go to the United States and play there because I think um, come to Vegas, baby. Awesome. Like, I just, you know what? I'd take a whole month. I'd be like, right, I'm off. Like, bye. First of all, like, I know for a fact that every state, right? So there's different, you know, got different laws in the states and everything, like different in different states. But also, you get really good weather, fingers crossed, in majority of places. Um, Am I no. wrong? Am I assuming shit again? The last couple of years, global warming has really screwed some things oh. up. People are seeing snow and ice where they they never do, and and the places that normally get snow and ice are getting a, yeah. a lot. Uh, here in here in, in Nevada, it's uh, the summer wasn't as uh, the summer didn't get as hot or last as mm. long as it normally does, and winter hasn't gotten super super cold. Oh, uh, okay. It does get cold. It does get really cold in the, in the desert, uh, but unfortunately. So you're basically going for mild stuff like we do in UK because it's it's basically it's well, bullshit throughout the whole but, year. But at least at least where I live, it doesn't rain all the time. It rains, and then we have what we call monsoon season, which is literally like a couple days where it just rains and rains and rains and rains and rains. But it's like over, you know. It isn't constant. That's like ninety percent of UK's everyday weather rain. I'm aware. I'm aware. So it's it's <laughs> literally like vitamin D is like completely deprived. And the funniest yeah. thing is, is that no wonder we're depressed. We no don't wonder we're sarcastic. Well, there's a good reason for it. Have you seen the weather outside? I look outside and I'm like, I, I, I'm really happy I work from home nowadays because I don't got to deal with shit like getting up in the morning and wondering, oh, my God, is it going to piss it down again? Am I going to have to wear my wellies to work? Am I swimming at this point? Uh, you know, there's a, there's a like, reason. These questions don't concern me anymore. Yeah, there's a reason why. <laughs> some of the most brutal death metal bands come out of Scandinavian countries. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Agreed. By the way, the I swear to God, the weather does react to you. But going back to your question, I would, I, I personally, I did say to the boys, I would love to go to US. Um, definitely. Because one of the, one of the places I'd love to go is Texas. Cause Texas, <laughs> cause it's Texas. I'm go to Austin. Country. Austin oh, yeah. Austin loves loves live music, like oh. literally people. Ha that's their literal job with like, uh, almost benefits and and you know um. It, it's Austin, Texas. You yeah. will you'll you'll fit right in. Oh, I'd, honestly, I'd I'd love to. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I mean, yep. we're we're going to be touring. So our new album, we will be touring around UK. Uh, there was a talk um, that we're going to organize potentially um, doing a um, uh, doing a week in Spain as well, but this is uh, it's still in the works. So I'm not going to say anything anything more on that because um, they don't tell me 
many things about it. <laughs> they just organize it and they just like, just show up, remember the words, and just just entertain the crowd, Annabelle. That's that, that's what you're here for. Cool. Right. I like to say, I, I shut up and tickets. sing. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Like majority of the time, Matt drives. But well, majority, all the time, Matt drives. I just get in a car. This is just. Have you got everything? Have you got your bags? Yes. Have you got your charge? Yes. So that okay? Just get in the car. Where are we going? Where I don't even know. Like until we get there, he's like, oh, by the way, we're going to Wales. Oh, it's that. It's that old joke of. Good evening. Where are we? Where are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. I literally, do you know what? They have to, I thought, this is, this is how funny it gets sometimes. It gets to the point where we get to the venue and Matt literally reminds me, this is where we are. We're in Canuck. If you say good evening somewhere else, I will slap you with my guitar. And then I'll make you pay for, pay for the new paint job. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. So you're like, Hello. three times, we're in, we're in this place. Good evening, Canuck. Good evening, Norwich. Good evening. And I'm like, okay, I, I got you. And I'm I like, what's just the name it. of the place? He's like, shut the fuck up. I could just see it. Visions of Freddie Mercury dancing in your head. And you're all, good evening, Glass and Berry. Oh, yeah. They're, they're <laughs> like, you're not, this is not Glass. Though. This oh, is North sorry. Umbridge. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll you're pretend intent. we're in Wembley, okay? Good evening, Wembley. We're in Norwich. You're in North Stoke on Trent. Fuck. <laughs> we'll pretend we're in Wembley, all right? Right on. Uh, speaking of, backtracking a little bit, speaking of working from home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> which is more full of people that are full of themselves? World of property law or the world of music? Oh, my God. I actually work for prop property law. I, I, I know. That's why I asked you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was wondering. How, like, how, how funny that you asked. They're like, oh, my God. You actually did your homework, so that's fine. That would be a that would be a random question if I asked that out of nowhere. No, that's why that's why it took me so. I was like, what? Wow, wow, wow! That was yeah. oddly specific. Um. Oh God. Um. For the oh, I don't know. That it's a it's a hard one to say because well, you know, I get paid to deal with difficult people. Whereas, but, but music, that, do you know what? Music industry, so wh where we perform, I don't actually have any it, like issues ever. Maybe I don't notice them because I'm very easygoing when it comes to, I just get there. I'm like, look, I don't give a shit. Just, just make me sound decent so I can hear myself. The, the rest, the rest is on me. I'm not going to ask for shit. Like some people, like sound, sound engineers love me because they're like, oh my God, you're not a diva. Cause I come in all like you know pissed off because I have to do my hair fast because Matt's like, come on, we gotta fucking go. We're running late. Can you not do your makeup faster? No. And it's like an argument, like five minutes before we leave the door. Can you hurry up? No. This is perfection. And it's just like you know. And then we get to the venue and I'm pissed off. I got I got I got face like a slapped ass. And so is he. He looks like a freaking sour lemon. We both walk in pissed off. And then later on we make up because I gotta get food. So, yeah, but we walk in and I look annoyed, but the sound engineers are like, so how do you, I'm like, I don't care. Do whatever you need to do to make me sound decent. Like, that's all I ask. As long as I can hear myself, I don't give a shit. Like, honest, honest to God. I'm just, you, you know, you know your job. You do, you do you, boo. And um, they're like, this is amazing. I was like, fuck it, play around with whatever you want. They're like, put like, somebody trying to put distortion on my voice. And I'm like, no, 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 that's my microphone. I can do that myself. I just go, oh, and it just. Awesome. Uh, don't forget, stick around. We have a music video from Circus 66 after this for their latest single, Replace the Pain. Uh, so stick around for that. It's going to be awesome. Now then, um, I have, this is a bit of a, a, a kind of a deep dive, but I was wondering, who is Dave from America and why should I be like him? Oh my God. I'll explain it was an ongoing joke so um we were um so Dave is a really good friend of uh Mustard's so our basis and um when Mustard joined um the band and everything so we started obviously you know we started we dived in straight to like recording the album etc etc and gigs and stuff and um mustard kept sending the um the raw material so not mixed or mastered it was just lightly mixed by matt at the time 
uh, to Dave. And Dave absolutely loved uh, our music. He actually visited from the US to come see us live when we lit uh, when we perform when we started performing in 2019. Um, so Dave's like Dave's like a, an all all you know all time f big fan of a fan of ours. Um, so Dave and I, um, th th so there was a big joke going because um, sometimes when you go to a venue and you're a girl and um, apparently you're asking for it just by 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 being a girl. Um, so you know, uh. you know, get some drunk people come up to you and you know get a little bit too close. It's it happens very rarely, like now, now, because again, when Matt and I have an argument, the face like a slapped ass and the sour lemon on, on the left, you know, so people are like, oh, oh, fuck that, don't approach her. She looks, she looks like she's about to literally bite your head off. And, and it's great. I'm like, rest in bitch face is fantastic, you know, helps you out every day. But anyway, so at the time, uh, we were at a venue, and th this this fella had just just a little bit too much fun juice, and um, he would just he would not leave me alone, and I mean would not he would he would he was stuck on me like like you know like just anywhere I went he was with me, and I was like Jesus Christ like, and you know, and it got to a point, and Dave was like right, this, this, this fucking like this this guy, and I'm like. And I'm like, I can't, I'm really, like, I'm nice. Like, especially when it, it's a fan who really liked a band and stuff. I'm not going to be like, fuck off. You know, I don't do that. And I'm very sort of like, yeah, that's great. Like, thank you. That, you know, that, you know, polite, polite way of like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got to a point, Dave's like, you, you got to stop doing this, babe. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, you're like, can you run this back again, please? Run that shit back by me. He goes, um, can, can, can me and my wife have a moment together? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm married now, am I? <laughs> it's great. It's and then we ran with it because it was, it was, it was just, a, it was really funny. It was like, come on, come on, wifey. And it just, just whacked the wifey. I was like, okay. So yeah, that was the joke of the night. It was, it was really funny. So, oh, yeah, that's so. awesome. I, I would have believed you. You could have just totally left it right there. And I'd be like, oh, oh that's God. hilarious. That, that, I mean, that, that's <laughs> That's I funny. My, I don't think my other half would appreciate it. It's like, what the fuck? No, it's fine, babe. It's this, fine. I swear. Yeah, I just love it. I'm this, not this married. Dave. Dave lives in America. You like more? Uh, so so like, that's, well, I'd be like, well, you know what? Uh, what? The, what do you say? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm like, well, I have another family in the US. You just don't know about it. <laughs> I'm like, no, All I'm right, not going to judge about that because I can actually pull off being, you know, I think I sound mm -hmm. like I'm joking. But right. it actually just sounds serious and people take it seriously. And I'm like, well, shit, I better not make a fucking joke because right. it doesn't sound like one. <laughs> All right. Um, so last why, question. You should, why you should be like Dave? Because Dave's cool as fuck and he's got one of our T-shirts. That's why. There you go. Supports the band. Supports local bands, man. <laughs> Even though we're not so local to him. Last question. You made it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, and like I said, if you want to know more about Circus 666, the 666 circus 666 that's what you should have went with oh anyway God, you know what <laughs> that if you want to know more about heavy metal band if you want to know more about circus 66 uh, check out their social media links that i'll put down in the description um and of course stick around we've got that music video for what was it called again replay the pain i blanked i don't know why um oh, that's but, okay. but first it is my final question that i ask of all my prey and you OG room sixers know what's coming. But again, I get a different answer like all the time. We're going to talk to little you. We're going to circle back to that earliest musical influence question. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is geared towards like that new musician who comes up and says, how do I be like you? You know? Oh! Um, so you, you're talking to little you. You're, and you just said, I want to do that. What is one thing that you wish you could go back and, and say, you're going to need to know this kid. And don't, you know. And don't say, like, uh, be omnipotent. Oh, God, uh, that would have been my answer. Damn it, you took the words right out of my mouth. I honestly <laughs> would, if I met myself back back when I was a little little nipper, when I was uh, thinking, you know, this is cool, I want to do this. Um, but music has been a part of my life always, um, singing, everything. But if I went back, I'd just say, work harder. 
work harder, bitch. It, it, it is going to get worse. Like, like, don't think it's all glam because it ain't. But it's hard work, but it's rewarding. Like, every bit of it is rewarding because even though, you know, so pe pe people get to, the, I'd, 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 say, I'd say this, like, you, we, if you're a fan, you only see the glam side when you get, when the people get on stage and perform. I said, don't forget that there's a lot of hardship, like a lot of hard work that goes into that production. The rehearsals, the the recording. Oh my God, the recording. Like I, I tell myself just to be like, be more patient with yourself. Don't fucking cry after every song. <laughs> like, oh my God. I even like, even if I can speak to myself from a few years back when we were recording the first album, I'd be like, I wouldn't have shed as many tears. Do you remember my blood, sweat, tears, and panic attacks and breakdowns I had? Just recording. Just recording alone. It was, oh, it was, it was really funny for Matt. It wasn't. He was he was just like, I'm fucking done. This is this is unreal. I'm like, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, mate. <laughs> but <clears throat> I just said, just be prepared. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. When the moment you step on stage, it's all worth it. Because I <clears throat> I still carry this image in my head as a little girl. Um, she's uh, five, six, and she was in one of the festivals, and she was just absolutely mesmerized. And I saw, I like when I saw her. Somebody, I, there's a picture of us. Uh, I came up to her, like on the side of the stage, and I was like holding her hand and stuff. I was singing to her, and and somebody got a picture, and I look at this picture, and I remember the girl's face, and it was so, it was like the cutest thing ever, and. Oh. They, and yeah, because she was just when she looked at me, she reminded me of me when I was little and I went to like music festivals and I was like, oh, this is so cool, you know. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's what I would do. I'd uh, tell myself, like, it is hard, but it's worth it. Like every second of it, every every moment that I spend on stage is literally it's it's like. I fall in love with it all over again every single time we perform. And, you know, for all the hard shit that we go through, like arguments or whatever, well, we don't really argue. We, we, we like, bicker. <laughs> we bicker. We don't, we don't argue. We're like, we actually, as a band, don't have um, much of a, you know, we don't, we don't rub, rub each other the wrong way. We sort of, like, come to a compromise. But, but yeah. It's that, but every time I step on stage, I'm like, oh, this is why I love doing this. So, like, before and after, I forget. Like, this is like a complete, like, I feel like I step into a different universe and it's all worthwhile. Anyway, tell me to shut up. I just crack on, like, like I, bah, 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 bah. I, I honestly, I couldn't say it any better. And that is a, that is an amazing moment that you have back there. Uh, um, yeah. So there's, there, there, I have several of these. I I still yeah. like we we've done quite a few festivals over the years, and a lot of the time, I have um I had a really like, another cool experience, and also like so this is this is my this is my it, this is what interests me because I get a lot because uh, a lot of young girls go to like festivals and stuff, and you don't see a lot of female fronted rock bands. So it's, there's there's a couple of us, but not a lot. And what what gets to me is just like they, they you know they they'll come up and we'll talk and that you know one of the girls she was a there's a teenager that I met and she was really she was really cool down to earth and she she's like <clears throat> me and her had like an hour chat an hour I was just sitting there selling merch and stuff and chatting away with her and um, I was giving her pointers about like you know like stage and shit like that she's like how do you like you know like because I I'm I'm very flamboyant and very like sound like a sound activating flower on stage I'm like, yeah like, and i run around like hence i wear trainers all the time heels not so good you will fall over annabelle you may potentially get concussion been there done that so not doing that again so i basically so yeah me, me and her had a really good discussion and i still remember that because she was like this is so cool like i'd love to do that you know so it was there's a lot of um, good memories um, I can recall like that just by having these moments with um, younger generation where, especially girls, where I could turn around and say, oh, my God, I actually did change your perspective in, in a good way to make you feel like, yeah, you can fucking do this, too.
doesn't doesn't matter. Just you crack on. This is what you love. You 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 go. You grab. You grab that bitch. You do it. Like you know. Don't don't it's give up it. just because. Just because. Just because. Nah. Just give it. Give it a good hard try. If it don't work, then it don't work. But at least you don't. At least you won't regret it for the rest of your life. Like you know, I I went I went out and started doing this, and till this day I'll still love it. I'll probably do it when I'm fifty, sixty. I'll probably like I'll probably have to get hip replacement from the amount of running around I do. I'm not gonna lie. I jump I jump off the stage. That's fun. And then yeah, you know, sprain my ankle and crack on with the show. <laughs> it's just oh shit. Well that's bruised. Like at the end of it, adrenaline nice. goes out and I'm like, well yep, that'll do it. <laughs> right on. And speaking of which, it's we're gonna check out that music video for replace the pain because you know the pain the pain of, of jumping off stage so thank you very much for watching thank you for being on the channel and thank you for having me no worries we're gonna check out the music video for replace the pain by circus 66 and then we'll see you in the outro temporarily say goodbye bye guys I want to thank Annabelle from Circus 66 for coming on the channel. It was a great interview, an awesome music video. If you want to know more about the band, hit those social media links down in the description. And, you know, let them uh, drop in. Uh, if you can see them live, definitely go see them live. Tell them Room 6 sent you.
In the meantime, remember to be amazing. Yes! Love that. And we'll, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, Annabelle. Bye, guys.